York and in Washington. We're now told, CBS2 has now learned, that the plane that crashed outside Pittsburgh was actually en route to crash and attack Camp David, the presidential retreat. So to recap, there are still four unaccounted for planes. There are four unaccounted for planes. There's one in Dallas that has been surrounded by F-16s. There are three others that we're still trying to locate. But the fourth plane that we know about at that crash is actually targeting Camp David, the presidential retreat. All right, Marcia, thank you. Also, there's been a lot of speculation and will be for some time about who takes responsibility for this. I want to read you a quote from a man uh, who is employed at Jane's Transport of London. Jane's, of course, worldwide leader in uh, expertise as far as military aircraft, in fact, all aircraft. This quote is, this is perhaps the most audacious terrorist attack that has ever taken place in the world. This man's name is Chris Yates. It takes a logistics operation from the terror group involved that is second to none. Only a very small handful of terror groups on that list. The name at the top, mm -hmm. Osama bin, bin Laden. Laden. Also, President Bush, as you know, uh, perhaps you saw earlier today live on national television, uh, promising a full-scale hunt for those who committed this act of terrorism. And again, the president, hours ago, did call this an act of terrorism. There was some speculation in the minutes following the first impact on the World Trade Center. Perhaps this was something else, an air disaster of some kind. From there, apparently, when we saw the second attack, right. it was clear, Very obvious. it seemed clear it was a terrorist attack. Since that time, we know that another bomb was set off at the World Trade Center. And if you are just tuning in, you will see there is no more World Trade Center. Both towers have collapsed. I